Hi everyone, it's Phil here from Ashland Leather. Today I wanted to show you a bunch of small batch items that we've crafted out of some really special color number eight Dublin leather. And if you're not familiar with the Dublin leather, this is a leather that is tanned by Horween here in Chicago. They're pretty well known for making this little leather here. This is a leather called Shell Cordovan, also in the color number eight. And when they tan this leather, they actually put a bunch of tree barks into a pit and then steep the leather inside of that pit, sort of like making a tea, but out of tree barks. And that's what this is here. Shell Cordovan has become sort of synonymous with this color here. And this color is called color number eight. It's a dark brown and burgundy shade. So they took the same tree barks that were used to tan the Shell Cordovan leather and tan some steer hides instead. So they took that same color eight from the Shell Cordovan and translated it over to this Dublin leather here. And Dublin is a fantastic leather. It's a full grain leather that's now veg tan, just like the Shell Cordovan. But because the Dublin has a hard wax layer on the surface, you get this really incredible burst effect. So if you see as I run my fingers underneath the leather, we displace a little bit of that finish layer of wax and we can reveal a little bit more of these burgundy undertones. This is a really interesting leather too. You might be able to see as I sort of shift around how bright and shiny it is. This is some of the nicest leather that we've ever received here in our shop. So we made a little small batch of several different items. They're gonna be available today. And in fact, I want everybody to experience this leather in person. So we're putting them up for a slight little discount. All right, let's go through each of these items. I wanted to start with our most popular wallet style. This is the Johnny the Fox bifold. Again, color number eight Dublin on the outside. It's a really nice dark brown shade. Very subtle burgundy in the undertones that we were talking about a second ago. This one we've paired with a thin horsehide interior, and this is a Latigo leather, it's not Dublin, but it is combination tan, so it has a veg retan. We had this leather made special for us by Horween to be as thin as possible, as durable as possible, and to have really good aging characteristics, which is why I find it to be just about the perfect leather for the inside of a wallet of this type. We also have another Johnny the Fox this time. We decided to make two versions of it. And this one is very cool. We've been enjoying in the shop here. We really like how the cream stitching, this color thread, sort of makes everything look a little bit different and interesting. So we still have that same color number eight Dublin leather on the outside with the contrasting cream thread. And we decided to play off that on the inside. So on the inside here, this is actually natural Latigo leather. And the natural Latigo interiors, these are rather new for us. We used to have a color called Mock Latigo, which is a confusing word, M-O-C, it stands for moccasin. Had a little bit more yellow to it. So we sort of like this neutral idea of the natural Latigo. Uh, and we've replaced the Mock Latigo with this color. And before we go back to the Color 8 Dublin, I wanted to give you a quick update. I've been wearing this natural Latigo Johnny the Fox for a few weeks now. I actually forgot to keep track. I told you I was gonna update you on it. This is a lighter color and I find it to be very polarizing. I'm really enjoying it, especially with some new raw denim that I've been wearing. You can see just how much the color is sort of crocking off in all the areas that it rubs against my jeans. And then you can see where the outlines of the bills here and even some of the cards. It's pretty interesting. I, I get that not everybody is into this color, but I'm really enjoying how the Latigo is wearing in. And here's what you can expect to see the interior uh, wear in like. So we're looking at the new one on the top and the used one for a couple weeks on the bottom. It doesn't tend to patina as dramatically on the interior of a wallet as on the exterior. Up next is probably what I, I think this is the best one in the batch. I just love how this one turned out. Color number eight Dublin on the Capone money clip. And there's something really striking about this one, especially in person. It's, it's very beautiful. And I think what it is, is this play on colors again so that the burgundy color eight color on the outside, you can see those lighter sort of reddish undertones, a little bit more cherry, and that cherry color sort of continued into the inside. What you're seeing here is the backside of this mill dyed leather. So any mill dyed or drum dyed leather will have color going all the way through the substrate of the leather, and you'll see it on the flesh side here. So what Horween has done for us is finished off the flesh side of this Dublin a little bit of a top coat and it gives it a nice little sheen sort of cleans it up a bit it's not as suede as most flesh sides of leather the other thing that i really like this is a black spring bar money clip and there's just something about the black and the burgundy colors together that just work really well up next this is a one-shot card case and this is the wallet i like to suggest to most people 
that are trying to experience new leathers and new colors. They want to just see how stuff wears in. When I was working at the tannery starting about 16 years ago, I used to take little cuttings of leather, just things that I thought were interesting, and I wanted to see how they would wear. So I'd take that cutting, put it in my pocket, and walk around with it. And that's what this one shot is really good for. You can fit a minimalist amount of things inside. You can put a bunch of cards and even folded cash. But this is a good price point to be able to try out something new just to see how it wears. In addition to the one shot, we also have the two shot card case. So the two shot in Color 8 Dublin here has one card slot on the front, one larger card slot in the back. You can only fit dollars folded into thirds in the back here. Folded in half just sticks out a tiny bit and there's no card slot on the back. Up next, I believe this is our newest model. This is the Gus card case and I found this wallet to be surprisingly great. So when we made prototypes, I like to try to wear out everything, try to wear it in the world and use it. And I was just really surprised at how much stuff this held and kept a very minimalist form factor. I actually carried this one in my front pocket, which I don't normally do, and I really loved it as a front pocket wallet. We also designed this with business cards in mind. So we made these card slots a little bit wider, and it expands to conform to all those things that you put inside. Business cards are a little bit wider than most credit cards, so we made these card slots a bit wider. Inside of the Gus card case, you can fit many business cards. Mine happen to be very thick, and I put about 15 business cards in here. If you have sort of a standard thickness, you might be able to fit 20, 25. And in the back here, just another additional card slot. You can fit dollars, you can fit credit cards, and you can fit business cards. And then it has this flap closure. This is the best part. There's no band to hold this flap closed. What happens with a veg tan leather, like the Dublin leather that we have here, this will mold and conform around anything that you put inside of it. So when you wear this, that flap just sort of closes everything off naturally and it keeps its shape. Up next, we have another minimalist style. This is our Frank the Enforcer, again, in that beautiful color eight Dublin. On the front of the Frank the Enforcer, we have two card slots. In the center, there's one larger card slot. This will fit US dollars folded in half. And then on the back, we have one additional card slot. And I forgot to mention that all the edges are very nicely waxed and burnished. And because this leather is mill dyed, we get a little bit of that reddish burgundy sort of cherry dark brown color all through the cross section of the edges. Up next is another very popular style for us. This is the Bugs Moran. It's a very minimalist card holder. And I love this wallet and I suggest it to a lot of people for a front pocket wallet. It's about the size of a deck of cards to give you a good sense and it fits really well in your hand. The, the sort of form factor on this one is just about perfect on the exterior. You just get that one big clean piece of leather. On the inside of the Bugs Moran, we have four card slots and the top two card slots are a little bit smaller and the larger two underneath, these will actually fit US dollars folded in half. And finally, we have the Fat Herbie again in that beautiful color number eight Dublin. I'm really excited for you guys to see this leather in person. This is the wallet style that I choose to wear. I wear my wallet in the back pocket and I find this one to lay flatter in my pocket. I just find it to be more comfortable. And then the access to cash in the back here is very easy. You can fit all the world's paper currency in the back of this wallet, and it will even fit a passport in the back in a pinch. It will stick out right to the top. So sometimes the top of the passport can get a little bit frayed if you wear it in there a little bit too long, but it's great in a pinch. On the inside, we have four card slots. I like to stack my cards, put them inside of here. And because these card slots are spread out over more surface area. This wallet just lays thinner, even when you put four cards into each slot. So the Fat Herbie holds a ton of stuff and still lays really thin. I think it's the best back pocket wallet around. So thanks for checking out everything in the video today. I really wanted to look at the Capone money clip here one more time. There's something special about this guy. Uh, I just love that black and burgundy together. It's sort of inspiring me to do some more color combinations, maybe with these two colors. So if you're interested in any of the color eight items we just looked at today, they're gonna to be 15% off on the sale page of our website, ashenleather.com. Everything is in stock and ready to ship, but there are limited quantities available. So thanks again so much for checking out everything in the video. If you have any questions about Dublin leather, if you have any questions about color eight, please let me know. It's kind of a funny old school color name. They could have just called it Oxblood or Burgundy. The name came about because the supplier that sold Horween the dyes, they named the color color number eight and the name sort of just stuck for over a hundred years now. So thanks again for checking it out. Hope you have a good one and take care.